What's up, YouTube? Christian Anahar here, and this is episode two of Format Face Off, where we will be looking at the movie Friday the 13th, Part 7 The New Blood. Let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, so it's going to be the same principle as the last time. The three categories are appeal, content, and picture quality. So let's start first and we'll look at appeal. Well, when we go with the Blu-ray, obviously right here you can see the only way we've gotten the Blu-ray is in the collectible case with all the movies. So it's really hard because I don't want to cheat and judge it on the entire box. So what we can do is look at just what's in the just what's in the page itself for part seven and here we will see the pictures for part seven and that looks really great um, I always liked the look of Jason I thought if one of them was gonna be the scariest looking to me it was that one because Kane Hodder like everybody knows put a real character no pun intended, put a real character on Jason and uh, made him very menacing. Um, all respect in the world to all the other guys who played the character except Warrington Gillette because he lied, the bastard. Steve Dash, you're the real Jason. But um, So that's what we're going to base it on, that picture that I showed you. And it's a great picture, it looks great. Um, let's continue and see what we got next. We'll look at the DVD, this is the Deluxe Edition DVD. And as you can see, when they put these out, they put new art on them. And uh, we've all are familiar with this. We all love these. They're great. So there's the Part 7 for the 2009 Special Edition DVD. There's also another DVD form we've got. Let's take a look at that real quick. Now, when it comes to the other DVD, following the form of what the way the Blu-ray was set up, we've gotten the DVD Complete Collection. Now you could either buy this, a little fact about this, you could have either bought in this like itself, by itself, from either Best Buy, Walmart, wherever, which I did, I bought this from Best Buy, and they also did a limited collection that comes with a um, mini signature hockey mask of Jason, which is really cool too. But we'll also do the same thing, we'll base it off what comes on the Part 7 artwork page. One thing I did like about these, a lot of people complain, I am not, not the biggest fan of this either, putting these in these cases. But one thing I will say that I do like is the facts that are given on this. I think that's really cool. Um, let's see. Rank number one at the box office opening weekend, only a $2 million budget. $2 million is a lot of money to all of us, but in the world of Hollywood, on a uh, you know worldwide premiered movie, like the Friday 13th, $2 million is um, nothing. So, um, a series record of three sex scenes and two stalled cars. Only film in the series to, char to feature characters other than Jason who possess supernatural powers. So you get a lot of great artwork on the bottom as well. So that's really cool. And I am a fan of this set. And when I do I want to pop in a quick movie of the Friday the 13th films and I don't feel like digging out the Blu-ray set or if I just want to put something on while I'm working in my room doing something while just to have something play, I'll usually pull from, from this collection. Next we'll take a look at the older formats. Here is the VHS. Now, um, every if you're a respecting Friday the 13th fan, one thing we love about the series is the original artwork. Um, it just emphasizes 80s and it's just, it's awesome. Now on the back will feature a picture um, with Laura Park Lincoln, um, forgive me, I forget this boy's name who, who was, uh, who played the, the, the boy character, the boyfriend character. But we get a picture with them and Jason on the back. And this just is what it's all about when it comes to uh, Friday the 13th. Just that 80's classic look and uh, the VHS is a great addition to own if you don't have it. I think I bought this on Amazon for a buck ninety-nine with like a dollar or two shipping. So they're easy to find on the internet 
And it actually was from a Goodwill uh, username, so Goodwill shipped this to me. So you can find a lot of great stuff on Amazon for cheap. Don't just use eBay. And last but certainly, certainly not least, we will look at the Laserdisc, the much sought after Laserdisc of Friday the 13th Part 7. And obviously, as you can see, a much larger canvas to work on. Absolutely glowing, awesome picture. And luckily, this Laserdisc is in fantastic condition. So the picture is going to look great. And on the back, we'll see, I think uh, the VHS features the picture right here with Jason and the two. As you can see, we have that on here. And more pictures. That was the great thing about Laserdisc. A larger canvas to work with, and you can put on more pictures. So um, that's going to be that. And uh, it's just like I said, the great thing about Laserdisc, not just picture-wise, which are great, a much larger canvas for artwork and for the movies to get a better idea of what you're going to see when you watch the movie. So that's the last of the collection. When it comes to the appeal, personally, I'm going to have to, number one right off the bat, to me, nothing beats the original artwork. And I'm going to have to give it a tie between the Laserdisc and the VHS because they both are equally as great in their own fashion. And even though the canvas is much larger on the Laserdisc to work with, there's something about the, the VHSs that um, still have so much charm to them and just still look great as ever. So I'm going to have to give it to a tie when it comes to um, the appeal for the Laserdisc and the VHS. Next we're going to start talking about the content. This will be a much quicker uh, run through. Obviously, VHS, you're just going to get the movie. So all you're getting is the feature film on the VHS. And the same goes for the Laserdisc. Notice this is not a special edition release. The Friday the 13th did not get any kind of special edition release on Laserdisc. Not surprisingly though, Paramount was not proud of these films, so why would they? At the time, they weren't proud of these films. So as you can see, you're just going to get the movie on that. These two are going to be the exact same when it comes to content. You're going to get um, the uh, Jason's Destroy, the making of documentary with both of these. So, the same on those. But you, you also get more. Excuse me, I'll let me say all of them. Killer Commentary by director John Bugler and actors Laura Park Lincoln and Kane Hodder. Jason's Destroyer, the making of part 7. Slash Scenes Intro. Slash Scenes. Mind Over Matter, The Truth by Telekinesis, Makeover by Maddie, Need a Little Touch-Up, Work My Ass. So, and they're all great special features. The documentary is fantastic. So both of these are going to be the same. Obviously, they're the same release, just one's in a complete collection. Now let's take a look at the Blu-ray. If memory serves on the disc, it's the same. But let's see. Right, the Blu-ray disc is going to have the same, but I'll have to give it this. In the set itself, there is a bonus, killer bonus DVD disc with older documentaries from all the films, including Part 7. So given that, I'm going to have to give the edge of content to the Blu-ray set since you have to buy the set itself. You can't buy the disc separately as of now. So content, I'm going to have to go ahead and give the edge to the Blu-ray. And uh, it's as simple as that. Now let's talk about picture content. We'll start with the latter, or the older releases on the VHS. Obviously you're going to get a pan and scan um, copy. Not bad, but obviously it's not going to win. I'm not going to try to be like, but it's, it's good. it keeps the film looking perfect. No, it's, it's good, but it's not going to win in this case. But the VHS is a great copy to have, as I've said. We're going to improve the picture going on with the Laserdisc. I have done a Laserdisc versus DVD. The color saturation is a little, a little different from the DVD releases. The muddy water is going to look more of a brownish color. You can see, um, if, if I remember, I'll put a link to that Laserdisc versus DVD in the description. It's a great episode to watch. Jason is a little bit thicker looking because it's a little bit more of a pan and scan as opposed to a widescreen look. Um, so Jason is going to look a little bulkier, which does add to the movie, I think. He's more menacing looking. And um, 
It has that old 80s feel to it. The great picture release. Next, we'll go on to these two. It's going to be the same as they are the same release, just one in a collection. The picture does improve. Um, the picture has nothing taken away from it by being transported to a digital release. Um, and uh, uh, so far out of these, the DVD is the winner. However, um, when it comes to the Blu-ray, I do want to say one of the few uh, horror movie series, because they re it really applies to all of them, one of the few horror movie series I've seen where 1080p to me does absolutely nothing but help the film. What Paramount has been able to do with these transfers, and it might not necessarily be what they've done, but just the movies themselves, these movies have been able to been transferred on a 1080p and watching them on Blu-ray has done absolutely nothing but help the film in my opinion. It has, or it doesn't take away a single thing. I think the Blu-ray releases of Friday the 13th are the best way to watch these films. Um, you just get a clearer and better picture. You don't lose, in my, my informed opinion, you don't lose any ounce of nostalgia to them in the 1080p transfers. You don't lose any ounce of of 80-isms to the picture. They still feel like they were made hugely in the 1980s. It's just on a crisp, awesome picture. So when it goes to picture content, I'm going to have to give the winner to the Blu-ray. Making this episode's winner with two out of three again, the Blu-ray release. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you guys if you have any sort of, a, of opinion, uh, in, uh, especially a differing opinion, I would love to hear it. Please drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know. I'm also taking requests. Now, I'd like to have at least three forms of the format of this particular movie. So, I can't promise I will do the one you want, but I do have a vast majority of movies on multiple formats. So, I would love some, um, uh, give me some suggestions and I would do my best to try them, but as I said, the winner is going to be the Blu-ray release, um, but I hope you guys once again have enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these, and uh, like I said, drop a comment, let me know what you guys think. That's going to be it for this time, and we will see you guys next time. Be good.